YouTube, it's your boy DJ Ron the Mechanic here with another video. So, ah, my name is Garage Chilling. As you can see, I'm right in front of the old Nissan. That's right. Had a good little trip down there in Mississippi at the uh, Life with the Ike's Car Show. Man, it was pretty good, y'all. I, I can tell you, man, they had a nice turnout out there. Hey, if you want to see footage, hey, look, go check out my last video I posted uh, from the show. I'm telling y'all, man, look, life with the Ike, man, they, 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 they brought them rides out, man. Them, 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 them guys wasn't playing in Mississippi, boy. Yes, indeed, they wasn't playing. So, yep, yeah, I'm at home chilling now, so had to uh, pretty much clean up the front of the car because... Making that ride through Alabama, coming back, oh my goodness. Thug City all on the front of the car. Looked like I ran through a, a, a storm of bugs or whatever. So, hey, I was able to get them off though. You see, got the front all cleaned up. Got it back again, cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, I had to get them bugs off of that because you know if you leave them bugs on your car, man, it would eat your paint up. So yeah, yeah everything looking good, man. Oh man, a little spot right there. But yep, everything looking good, bro. So yeah. So pretty much uh for as the update on my car, so the outside is pretty much I can see complete, uh, except for, hmm, I think y'all know what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's a future update that'll be coming. That's right, future update coming, y'all. Yeah, you already know. So, so just to give you a rundown, what all I've done to the car. Starting with the front, uh, as you can see, did my windshield wipers. You can see that. Of course, the grill, the LED emblem. LED uh, license plate. Tag right there, little holder. Uh, wrap the front part of the uh, license plate holder right there. Got my fog lamps on. I wrapped that. Also, add that bottom piece, a uh, little spoiler on the front. Uh, let me see. Also, wrap. The little black parts on top of the roof of the car. As you can see, got all that done. And of course, the side of the car right here, but doors all on the side. Right there. And I also uh, did my side mirrors too. You see, I, I wrapped those. Yep. Door handles. Now I'm gonna probably most likely I'm gonna look for another little antenna. Change that out there. Put a little idea with that. Cause she got the little carbon fiber little trim right here on the back end. Rear. Of course, you see the tailpipe tip. Of course, the back end of the car right there. See, that's all wrapped. Of course, you see my name on the window. It's the driver's side. You see, I got all that done also. 
door handles, mirror right here on the driver's side, got that done, of course I got my little lights on now, uh, inside, of course I changed this out, took the cloth out, went with the little leather on there, and that little piece on the door right here. Change these up. On the door controllers. Uh, added my SCAR Audio tweeters right there. Of course, you see I had the carbon fiber steering wheel cover. Steering wheel. And you see I got my radio front deed also. I wrapped that with the gray carbon fiber. Look right there. Same with the center console, did the same thing. And you see my little tag and stuff right there. Uh, this is my remote for my lights underneath the car. So I got the tweeter pod wrapped. Uh, this is the passenger door right there. Same thing. Changed out the door control panel piece. Got that on there. Once again, you see my Scar Audio tweeter right there. And down here, I don't know if you can see that good. Got my Nissan LED mats. Okay. Yep, see down here, I got a couple switches. I don't know if y'all can see or not. I have a couple switches I installed. Turn on my lights on the inside. Oop. There you go. See, I got the lights on the inside. Turn that off. Okay, now for the back door, same modifications, redid this, the door, also I added scar your tweeters back here, made a little box for them to go on the door as you can see. LED mats in the back there. Uh, right here, that's a little meter, a little charging, uh, little outlet with a little volt meter on it. Of course, I got my TVs in the headrest. As you can see, TV right there in the ceiling. That's like a 12 inch. Yeah, that's a 12 inch monitor right there. That's the passenger side door. As you can see. All right, here's the rear. Okay, so that little piece that you see right there, that is my antenna for my TV tuner that I have mounted in the glove box. Back here on the rear, I have two six by nines, four tweeters. Got the board wrapped in in gray back there. All right, let me fold down the seat. That's my amp rack back here. It's kind of a little gloomy outside a little bit. Trying to see if I can get y'all a little light. Y'all can actually see everything real good. All right. Y'all can see a little bit now. I got this passion door open, but I'm about to turn on some light.
All right, there we go. So here's my amp rack back here. I also wrapped it. Okay, this is my subwoofer amplifier right there. Right here is my highs and mids amp. This is a Rockford Fosgate Power 400.4, running all the highs and mids. Uh, you see this little contraption right here? That's my fans for to keep that cool. For all my old schoolers, y'all know those Fosgate amps get hot, man. So even with running just highs and mids, yeah, it gets a little warm, but that's okay. I got something to cool it down. And you can see right there, I got my Matrix Plus. And the rest of my other components are hidden underneath the app rack right there. I mean, I can actually take this front board out right here. I can actually move this, take it out for like if I need to do any service or anything or any of the uh, pieces up under the components. Let me turn that light off. Also, I got a little switch. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Watch right behind the amplifiers. Y'all see that? Got the lights on back there. And of course, they are sound activated. So any sound, the lights will change. As you can see, as I'm talking, the lights are changing colors. Yep. So that's the amplifier rack so as you can tell I got a pretty decent system up in here can't complain okay now I'm gonna show y'all the trunk and I still owe y'all some, some, some woofer action. Just haven't had the time. Then plus the weather, you know, you got to catch the weather when it's kind of right up in here. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Ah, okay. So right here, I kind of custom installed my epicenter knob. Y'all see it? That's my epicenter knob right there. Uh, down below, I have my ARC1 control knob. That's for my matrix right there. And the other one is for my crossover. That's it. Of course, here's my trunk right here. As you can see, I'm running the SCAR audio. Dual 12 setup here. These are the, uh, one of these, I think these are the SDRs, I think. So they hold like about 600 a piece. So I got, the 1200 is a perfect match for them. And I do have to say, y'all, I was really surprised how the way this box bumps. Heck yeah. Like I said, I, I still owe y'all a video on it. So y'all can see how these bad boys clown up in this trunk up in here. But yep, that's the whole box right there. And on the side, you see I have my excess power battery right there. And over there down below, this is my battery isolator. So pretty much uh, my whole entire amp rack is connected off of this battery right here. So the front battery is separated. So yeah, I like the way everything sounds. And of course, why I have zero gauge coming from the front all the way to the back. And of course, zero gauge on here and zero gauge ground. So yeah, zero gauge out back there. That's just my preference. I just want to make sure I have plenty of good power back there. Because I got a LED strip back here. All 
right, show y'all up under the hood. Let's see what we got here. Crank this up right quick. All right. I don't know if y'all can see that good. Shine a little light. There we go. All right. So I'm underneath the hood, as you see, I got everything clean up under here. Y'all see it? Everything all clean. Of course, I did the big three upgrade on here. That's a little fat zero gauge ground right there. Going to the engine block down below. You probably see some of that red wire there. Big zero gauge coming from the alternator. Coming up into the battery. And right here is my, my zero gauge wire right there. Big fuse holder. That's going to the back. More zero gauge that they grounded off. And I replaced another factory ground. So, yeah. Y'all see what the name is on that? right so yeah and I could tell you uh, the voltage is, is not bad on here when I crank it up so I mean for right now I'm still running my stock alternator and as far as my voltage goes uh, it's holding pretty decent like at 13 8 13 9 pretty much what it's been holding for a minute. Well, yep, that's everything under the hood right there. So that's pretty much it, y'all. For all the updates I've done to the car so far. So, yep, yeah. the Nissan is pretty much in tech, y'all. So, like I said, that right there, that's a future upgrade there. Yeah. It's coming, future upgrade, future upgrade, that's right. Can't wait, can't wait for that little upgrade there. Yeah. But until then, hey, look, try and keep it clean. As you can see, it's still glossing. Look at that, just, just look at that reflection off the hood. So yeah, uh, if the weather is not too bad later on, pretty much, uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little show, show y'all what the car look like at nighttime. Yep, it's gonna be fresh, I'm telling y'all. So just stick around y'all for that. Coming up pretty soon, coming up pretty soon. Right now it's still a little daylight outside, y'all can see. And like I said, uh, pretty much I'm gonna wait and see what this weather look like. If it holds up later on, then I'll be able to uh, go ahead and show y'all what I got on the Nissan now. Yep. Like I said, everything looks good on it. Matter of fact, when I was at the car show, I had a guy came up to me and asked me who was my detailer. I'm like, uh, detailer? I said, uh, you look at him right here. I, I clean my own cars. I don't take my car to no detail shop or anything. Hey, look, all this stuff you see I got on this floor right here. Look at it. You see, I got a machine right there. Steam cleaner. Uh,. I got the stunner butter. Shoot. That's the other little stuff over there. I mean, hey, I'm good. I am good. I got my phone cannon. 
uh, what I use spray on the car. Hey, I am good. Trust and believe. Like I say, everything you see on this car done by me. Oh yeah, I also I had uh restriped the car also too. Cause the original one had pretty much faded off. It was like cracked off, so I had bought some more pin stripes and I striped the whole car all the way down pretty much. Follow the same exact pattern the old one did. So yeah. So I'm gonna get back with y'all. Like I guess I'm gonna wait till it uh, get a little lit dark and see what the weather look like and uh show y'all what else that's been done to the car. So hey, y'all gonna enjoy it. Hey, look, y'all make sure y'all tell me what y'all like about it. Also, now give me a comment on it. So hey, look, I'll be back later. All right, what's up, everybody? I am back, so as promised, let me show y'all what I'm talking about with the Nissan. Y'all ready? Oh, check it out. <laughs> yep, y'all see what's going on now. Got different colors going on. Y'all see that license thing right there? Got the grill going. Got the lights. Got the underbody kit going good. Oh yeah, let me, let me show y'all them TVs. Y'all see that? That's right, got the TVs going. Got that underglow kit blowing up. TVs. Y'all see it? TVs flowing. Turn the mats on for y'all right quick. Boom. Tell me what you think about that. Right. And of course they are multicolored too. You don't see that. Now I got some more remotes up in here. Gotta find it. I got another one for the lights up front. There's somewhere up in there. I'll find it later. But yeah. You know, see the match glowing right there. Flashing different colors. Check that back out. Yes, sir. We're gonna fold that amp rack down. Let y'all check it out. 
Look behind now, right quick. Boom. Alright, got the lights going on back there. Mint's flowing. Got the TVs looking good. Just the big boy TV in the middle. That's a shame, y'all. I got so many remotes. It's hard to keep it with all this stuff. So many. I got a little small one. It's somewhere underneath. Oh, yeah. Look, let me show y'all this here. Man. I don't see what's going on. Got them shadow lights. Yeah, I see that. Yes, indeed. We got them on all four. Yeah, I see that. Yep, giving y'all a little light show. Y'all see what's going on with it. I ain't playing with y'all. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see what the deal is. Like I said, everything is installed by me. Nobody else did this but me. That is it. This is all my work, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, nice day. You saw it on? We sign off. Oh yeah. Like that. Now if I can only find a, a right remote up front, shoot, I'll be good. Look at this y'all, this is a shame, ain't it? About a thousand remotes. Like I say, it's somewhere up in here. Got a special remote just for the uh, headlights. It's somewhere. If I can find it. Like I said, if I can find it. Oh, think I might have found it, y'all. Let's see what we got here. Yep, here we go. Light quick flash in my back, girl. Yeah. 
turn on the clock and lights. I'm gonna turn this off. Y'all see I got lights in here, lights. Got the license plate, lights up, light in the grill. The front, the front emblem. There you go, got it changing colors. Yeah, see it. Of course, got the Nissan emblem light up back there. And you got a good view of the TVs playing. Yep, that is everything. Almost forget. Hold on. Almost forget. Boom. Y'all see what's happening there. Y'all see that. Got the lights under the seat. On the doors. Let me turn the mats off. So that way you can just see just the the blue lights they sell. And y'all see there under the seats also. And on the door. Turn those off. Turn the mats back on. There we go. All right, everybody. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I think I did a pretty good job with adding the lights on there. I think I got enough. Really do. Hey, y'all, give me a like. Make sure y'all comment on this here. Leave a comment, y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. I'm out here cutting up. Now see it for yourself. 
I ain't playing with y'all. There we go. Change it to blue. All right. See what else we got. Hit that multicolor real quick. Let it change. I like that sequence right there. Yes, sir. I like that. All right, y'all. Once again, hey, leave a comment. Hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Look, I couldn't leave y'all hanging. I had to show y'all the light show. So y'all can see what DJ Runner Mechanic working with. That's right. Okay, y'all. So that's enough of the light show for the night. About to cut all these off. Man, I just love these mats, man. Yes, like that, like that. I'm gonna cut them off. That's pretty much a wrap, y'all. So y'all see all my work. That's right. Now I do owe y'all uh, a sound video so y'all can hear how my uh, audio system sound up in there since I changed out the back end. But hey, I am good, y'all. I like it. I like the way everything came out. So hey, this DJ Run Mechanic. Signing out. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Hey, look, y'all make sure y'all turn on them notification bells now. I'm going to be dropping them. Alright. I'm out.